So hello, hello, well there's Jimmy, who's about to go to sleep because I'm doing a video. As soon as I start the video camera, he just thinks, ah, get, get gone with it. <laughs> well, there's plenty of peanuts, Miss Money Penny. Uh, <laughs> so hello, hello, today I'd like to do a review of, of some more books of, of one of the, I think, the most greatest rock stars that's ever lived, um, George Michael. Um, okay. Um, the reason why I, I, I like him so much is because we're both from Watford. I mean, he, he was arguably in the posh part of Watford. Um, uh, in, in, in his, his, da his dad um, was effectively a restaurateur um, who worked very, 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 very hard. And um, he owned a, a restaurant, a Greek restaurant in um because they are greek cypriots of course this family um i'm just trying to find the i mean his his real name was Georg 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 georgios sorry i'm gonna get my teeth in heavens above gay georgios um and basically he was uh, a greek cypriot and, and his nickname was yog because obviously georgios you know and so they um the uh friends that he had um, nicknamed him Yog. Um, I'm trying to remember his surname in in rea his real surname. Um, I can't. I'm a, I'm as dumb as a box of rocks, isn't it? Um, there you go. That's it. There, Georgos Pan 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 Panatonio. I think I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Panit Pan 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 Panioto. Panayoto. I've probably bished that up and butchered it badly, but um, that was his real birth name because, as I say, his family were Greek Cypriots, I think they were, and and they came to the UK to make good, and they did make good, and uh, oh my God, did they make good? And um, George's mum was English, and his dad was um, Greek, and um, well, okay, he started a band called Wham. Well, let's go back a bit. Before that, he started a band called The Executive, and it was with his friend from Bushy Mead's school, um, Andrew Ridgely. Um, I suppose we'd best start getting into the photos, haven't we? Otherwise, it's going to just roll on like another one of my yawnable videos. But um, So this is a great book um, by Rob Jovanovich. Um, uh, what do I need to give you? Yes, I do really should be be polite and give you the details for it there you go there's the ISBN um, it's a really good book I like it good read so there's George with his mate Andrew Ridgely um, they started a band called the executive now I've seen them I've seen them I went to college with Andrew Ridgely he was he was in his second year when I was in my first and I, I knew him and I've seen George Michael, that yes, they, they, they hung out as mates, because George didn't go to the Casio College in Watford, where I went. Um, Andrew did. Um, but I, w I wasn't aware until one day I was handed a flyer by a very, very pretty girl who was actually called Shirley Holliman. And she was part and parcel of their sort of entourage. Um, I think she's married to one of the Kemp brothers now. Um, Martin Kemp, I think she's... Don't quote me, I'm, I'm, I'm always naff with these sorts of memories. But um, no, they started this band called The Executive, and it was awesome. We went to see them in this in this shady little sort of place, you know, in a pub somewhere. And, and it was br they were brilliant, I couldn't believe it. And anyway, the next thing I know, they've started Wham! And of course, if you haven't heard of Wham! 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 were a very, very popular British sort of 80s pop group, you know, the... the, 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 the duo of George and, and Andrew hugely successful hugely successful that beauty is Jerry Halliwell she's another Watford lass I'm very proud to be from Watford because um, she's gorgeous she's only little I've met I've met her as well actually not 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 to speak to I, but I've seen her I, I, I know who she was um, um, very very pretty girl uh, well lady um, so anyway, they they go on to become Wham, and George, I suppose, decides that, that you know it's it's um it's time to sort of move on, and so he starts a solo career, and and oh my God, is he is he ever very good at it? 
that's another lady that was a backing singer, Pepsi. There was they actually started their own. Shirley Holliman and um, Helen Demack. I, I don't even know. So, sorry, Helen. I don't Pepsi. That her nickname was. I don't even know how to pronounce your surname, which is very rude. Damask, it's French, isn't it? Damask, Oh, I'll give up now before I get kicked out, sort of thing. But um, ultimately, they were brilliant. They, they had a group together, both beautiful. Um, uh, they had they, they had this uh, group called Pepsi and Shirley. So look at them all. I'll, I'll, I'll pr probably leave leave you know links in like I normally do below. And um, well, that's a good book. That one, uh, George uh, Older. It's called this one. The uh, Unauthorised Biography of George Michael by Nicholas and Tim Wapshot. Another really, really good book. Uh, 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 yeah, it is a bestseller. Very good. So George wasn't without his problems. I'm not going to mention them because I, I don't like to rub people's noses in their own wee. You know, he always, he always came out on top because basically he was... Um, very diplomatic was our George, and um, he, he was very philanthropic as well. In actual fact, he gave away millions, millions of his power of his pounds to people's causes. I heard a tale recently about how he'd overheard some uh, waitress complaining about um, she was uh, in debt, you know, and she had ten grand in debt or something, and um, she was very stressed about it. And and of uh, George, when George went to pay his restaurant bill. He, he gave her a 10 grand tip anonymously as well. You know, it was a check. It was an anonymous check. This is the sort of thing this bloke did. Met him many times, as I say. He used to hang out with the most beautiful girls um, in um, a place called Chorley Wood, which is where he used to drink. Um, when he was, obviously he had a mansion somewhere. I didn't visit his mansion. I, we weren't on, on friendly terms in the sense where I could, you know, hang out with him in, in his house, but... Um, Definitely chatted to him at the bar many times. I always enjoyed the music. Mm, not so much Wham, to be honest with you. I, I found it a bit sort of poppy. poppy. I, I, I suppose at the time I was about sort of 17, 18, and I, I was looking towards sort of harder core things, and I, I could see that these guys had uh, a massive sort of teeny bop following, and I thought, well, it's not my cup of fish, you know. But um, <laughs> So that's one of George, and his, I think he's got three sisters. Uh, well, one of, one of them died not long after him. Obviously, of course, he's dead now. People will probably know uh, that George died. Um, there's his ring that says Yog. You know, that, that was the um, um, nickname Yog, short for yogurt. But, but in actual fact, it was because he's, when Andrew heard his name being said by his father, Georgios, you know, he, they, they picked up on the fact that he was Yog, you know. Very witty bloke. Very, obviously, very wealthy. Um, by now he's got a fabulous home in Saint Tropez, <laughs> which he called Shea Nobby. <laughs> so he was never without humour, you know. But um, the trouble was he was never without, also without um, problems psychologically, because um, it's probably widely known that George was gay, and and he and he he didn't really come from a community that would have allowed that sort of thing, you know, Greek. People don't look upon um, homosexuality as being something that's that's particularly popular in, in many ways. And so he was very, very, uh, he, he had a lot of problems being, you know, putting himself out there, as it were. And um, eventually he met some um, very, very um, uh, decent bloke that, that, that was, was, was um, uh, I, I, I you know, the names are going to be, he, he was great friends with Princess Diana, by the way. Um, um, ah, look at that, look at that, I've got a tick on me, look at that. See, waltzing across the square like it owns the place. Get you, you little s But um, no, he, he met this um, bloke and he and then he died of AIDS. So that wouldn't have done George any favours, would it? Let's face it, when you, when you lose the love of your life, as it were. But um, this is another cracking book. Get away, there's ticks everywhere. It's outrageous, the, the ticks are just in, they're, they're parachuting, it's, they're, like, they're like the blinking flea record can't get rid of him so where's the um where's the th there's the bits you need for that to get a copy of this book this is a great book uh now where is it that th this book has lots of really good photos in it of, of george um georgios uh, when he was young um 
he he wanted to be a pop star really from from sort of early days he always thought that would be the only way he could break out of the mold as it were and he was obviously a very likable bloke in fact i remember he once gigged at um the Bel Air restaurant in Northwind, which is where I was from, and I and I remember watching him there and thinking, yeah. And afterwards, we were chatting. I had no, I obviously no idea that he was going to be, um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, the, the superstar that he was going to be. That would be, but how would you know? I mean, but um, he was already gigging there, and I was collecting glasses there, and we just got. I mean, we didn't say much because he was quite a bit older than me. But um, so this is the. Um, chap that he found that he thought was wonderful and Selma Felipa or, or Felipa however you say that he was Brazilian or something and obviously the, the eyes met across the crowd of room as it were and but he died of AIDS it's a terrible tragedy and so then ah uh, anyway I, I don't want to really go into George's lifestyle that much because it's not my business is it anyway whose business would it be there he is with the the lovely Jerry Halliwell again they were as I say both from Watford so they got on really well. And when Jerry was having troubles, because she, she was one of the Spice Girls, as you may well remember, when she was having troubles, George George was there to help, as he was so many, many times. And ironically, he died in a place called, in a place called Goring on Thames, which is just literally down the road from where I first used to live with my parents when I, I was born. And as a child, and I lived in a place called Pangbourne, which was literally across the river from where George had his final mansion house. I mean, he had one in Highgate as well, yeah. That used to belong to, um, what was the name? The Eurythmics singer. Ah, um, oh, my brain. How bizarre. It just doesn't remember anything now, does it? Um, Annie Lennox. It used to, he, used to, he bought the house from Annie Lennox. And um, and and it's a, it was a lovely mansion. But anyway, these are really good books. I can highly recommend them if you if you if you like George's music, which a lot of people do. Um, you'll find his life very interesting to read about. Um, he, as I say, he wasn't without his problems, but they're personal problems. I'm not going to go into them. Um, basically, he he was uh, like all highly gifted um, uh, talent. He he was not without his um his 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 thing his thang and sadly in his case it, it killed him eventually because obviously his body just could not cope with all the um refuse that he was sticking into it. Mm. Uh, but um I, I I for one had so much pleasure and still do have so much pleasure from listening to his music and and um and and oh, it's awesome it's, it's just amazing just an amazing talent. And I, and I wish to God I'd have, I'd have um, you know, uh, uh, the, my biggest regret is that there was, he had a gig in Wrocław near where I live in Poland in, in the, the new um, stadium they've got there in a stadium sort of thing. And I didn't buy a ticket. I thought, well, no, he'll, he'll be back. I'll, I'll buy another one. Next thing I know, he's dead. And and for me, that was, that was, oh, you know, oh man, do I ever regret not buying that ticket. <laughs> Anyway, I'll leave you on the happy Jimmy because he's, he's having a snooze in it. I've got to find that tick again because it'll work its way back into him. That's a fact or me, one of the two. <laughs> anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. If you've got this far, all the very best wishes. Cheers.